this is Sherry, and this is Real Girl Talk Podcast Radio Show, the podcast for women who want to live an empowered, intentional life. I will be giving you my best tips in business, lifestyle, as well as emotional and spiritual healing, bringing you interesting guests and giving you a weekly dose of inspiration and always committed to keeping it real. Now let's dive in. I am so grateful that you're here. Welcome back, everybody, to Real Girl Talk. I am Sherry, your host, and as promised, I always have the most amazing guest, and this is history, folks. This is history right here because since Real Girl Talk started in October of 2019, and I've had tens of thousands of downloads, I am having, for my very first time, a male guest on the show. But let me tell you about him, and ladies, you're going to be fired up when I tell you about him. Benjamin Knight Fox, he is a registered pharmacist, a cosmetic chemist, and a nutritionist. He is the founder of the Truth Treatment, and he's going to tell us all about it because he is a guru when it comes to skincare and what's good for your body in order for you to have good skin. He works with physicians and patients for over 35 years. He is basically connected to people like popular doctors, Dr. Terry Dubrow, Paul Nastiff, as we all know from Ease Network Botched. And I am so excited to have you, Ben. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And I can't tell you what an honor it is to be your, your inaugur- inaugural male. <laughs> and we are fired up to have you. I have so many questions, okay? So okay. Um, you, you, I may have to slow my roll because when we're talking about skincare and we're talking about slowing the progression of age in any form or fashion, I am all over this topic because like I told you prior to the show, for the last couple of months, I have really switched my way of thinking and I'm really concentrating on the right things that I put into my body. And I'll tell you, it's crazy because I can't give up my champagne. However, when I went to the beach, I just got back on Tuesday and I ate good the entire time and I still had a blast. And I think it's because people think that they entertain themselves with bad food and, you know, they go to bed with their makeup on and and all of these things. You know, we don't realize what we're doing to our skin and our bodies is really not just causing us to be unhealthy, but we're really projecting ourselves, we're aging ourselves right before our very eyes while we're trying to fight it with skincare. Well, here's the thing. The skin is the body's largest what? It's the largest organ. We know that. Well, now hang on though. We always say that. And you're a nurse and you understand that. Right. But people, when they say that, don't, it doesn't really connect that you have to treat the skin like an organ. If if I told you, if I told you that you had a, uh, uh, you had a bad liver, right? And, and you share, how do you spell, how do you spell Sherry? Is it Sherry with a C or an S? It's with a C. C, Sherry. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. If I told you, Sherry, that uh, you had a bad liver, would you think about rubbing cream on your liver? Or if well, I told no. you, you had a bad, if you had COPD, uh, lung disease, well, and I said, here's this cream, we're going to rub it all over your lungs. What would you think? Think that's ridiculous. Right. You say, if I want to have a healthy liver or healthy spleen or healthy lungs or healthy heart or healthy organs, okay. I know I got to eat right, and I know I got to take care of nutrition. But for some reason, with the skin, we don't make that connection. We have been right. told for 100, uh, over 150 years, since the skincare industry really got going back in the late 1800s, we were told that all you got to do is rub a cream on. But it's worse than that. because uh, First of all, I should tell you that you can feed the skin nutritionally with topical products. And you got to make sure you're nutriating your body internally if you're really going to treat it like an organ. Uh You see, this idea that you can rub a cream on the surface of your skin and have better skin, uh, which came from 150 years, from Helena Rubenstein 150 years ago, is much worse than not serving us by not helping us with our skin. It's actually making our skin worse. Topical skincare not only doesn't help the skin, it makes it worse. And you can tell it makes it worse by a simple reading of the ingredient deck. For the most part, the ingredient deck on skincare products, a quick look at the ingredient deck, you'll see there's nothing on the ingredient deck for the most part that your skin recognizes. There's some exceptions, but the vast majority of skincare products are ingredients that your skin has that have nothing to do with your skin. Wow. I'm talking about 90 plus percent of the skin, of, of uh, skincare products, up to 99% sometime, really do nothing for your skin. 
They either are relevant to your skin in the case of water, and that's the vast majority of most skincare products, or even worse, they suppress skin chemistry. Hmm. Things like waxes and emulsifiers and preservatives and fragrances. All of these have not only, not only don't do anything positive for your skin, they have a net negative effect on the skin. And the proof of that is the fact that we sell 180 million dollars in moisturizing creams every year in this country and how many people do you know that have dry skin i mean oh i know have, they just they're like, sucking us dry they're sucking they, us dry and people think people think as i moved to colorado nobody attributes it to what they're putting on their skin or what they're putting in their bodies to me i'm a pharmacist okay i'm a registered pharmacist and i should tell you that when i was in pharmacy school i interned with dr tony jones who's the guy who invented blistax and i worked in the blistax research lab and I learned about medicinal skincare as a student, as a, as a pharmacy school student. When I graduated pharmacy school, uh, I started what's called, a, uh, I started a compounding pharmacy. Now you probably know what a compounding pharmacy right. is, but right. a lot of people don't. A compounding pharmacy is where the pharmacist literally makes the medicine instead of merely dispensing it. And I started a wound healing compounding pharmacy and I, where I made medicine, topical medicine for people's wounds. I also uh, formulated nutritional supplements and recommended nutritional supplements for people to heal. And what I realized was when people would come back for their refills, that their skin was more beautiful. It wasn't just the wounds were healed, but their skin glowed. It hmm. was more moist and soft and supple. It was healthier looking skin all around in addition to having whatever their health challenge was, the wound or the burn or the cut or the eczema or the psoriasis, the acne. Not, right. only were they, not only would the condition improve, but the skin itself would look beautiful the dry skin would disappear the uh, wow. or, or the, the sallow appearance of the skin this is aside from the wound or aside from the particular health challenge and it dawned on me that the same mechanisms that heal the wound also beautify the skin wow so i took my strategies i took my formulation concepts that i was applying for wound healing and i turned them into beauty uh, into beautification products and so all of my truth treatment products were born as wound healing products and then repurposed and reform, uh, redesigned, uh, repackaged as beauty products. Wow. And I always tell people, and this is a good tip for you, Sherry, you want some good tips, here's a good tip for you. If you can't put your uh, wrinkle cream or your moisturizing cream on a cut or a scrape or a burn and have it accelerate the healing, the cut or scrape, scrape or burn, and it, it's not a wrinkle product. It's a wow. body product because the same mechanisms that heal the skin, accelerate the growth of collagen and connective tissue to take care of your wrinkles, accelerate the, uh, the division of cells and the secretion of moisture factors to keep, uh, make your dry skin go away and strengthen your immune system to help you with conditions like eczema and psoriasis and other health challenges that so, show up dermatologically. So Wound me, healing is beauty. Let me ask you this, Ben. So. And talking about that, you know, we, we, we go into a pharmacy or, you know, we go into Walgreens, CVS, whatever it is, Walmart, I don't care. And we go straight for those products. And I think a lot of times women are attracted to the packaging. You know, if the packaging is really pretty and it's really cool, then it's got to be good for you. So besides the packaging, what is the first thing that we should stay away from when we are just flipping over a product and we're looking at an ingredient? Well, there's two anyway. There's two aspects to the, to, the, to the concept of stay away from. There's one aspect that is you want to stay away from because it's bad for you. And there's another aspect to stay away from because you're paying for things that aren't doing anything. So there's, right. a, there's, a, there's a financial incentive, a fin financial reason to stay away from things because you're wasting your money. And then there's a, a, a health reason to stay away from things because it's actually hurting your skin. Mm -hmm. so starting with the things that hurt your skin, preservatives. What is a preservative? A preservative, I don't, I, none of our two treatments have preservatives in it because of that reason. I, I work with uh, unpreserved products. Uh, and, and our products, in addition to being unpreserved, last indefinitely. They never go bad. Right. So, so uh, what does a preservative do? It kills things, right? That's how it works. It kills bacteria, it kills funguses, so they don't grow, which is a good thing, I suppose. But what is a bacteria and a fungus? A bacteria and a fungus is a cell, right? So preservatives kill cells. What is your skin made up of? It's made up of tissue and cells, right? Wow. Right. So right off the bat, you're putting something on your skin that's killing the thing that's making your skin beautiful. So right off the bat, you got a problem. So yeah, right. first of all, the, the worst thing you put on your skin is preservatives. 
Fragrances are another problem. Fragrances are volatile organic compounds. They're by nature, they're volatile. And these things called volatile organic compounds, VOCs technically for short, are highly toxic. In fact, they're carcinogenic. So that's the second thing you want to stay away from is fragrances in your skincare product. Then there are things that are uh, in the product, as I was saying earlier, that form the bulk of the product that do nothing for your skin. The water, nothing for your skin. Silicone, nothing for your skin. Hmm. Vegetable oil, nothing for your skin. Waxes, emulsifiers, surfactants, most propylene glycol. Most of the ingredients in a skincare product, in addition to the the preservatives and the fragrances that are toxic, uh, most of the things in the skincare product are a waste of your money in terms of making a difference on your skin. See, in the wound healing pharmacy, in my wound healing pharmacy, I couldn't play games. Right. I was dealing with people who were traumatized. Skincare has evolved from a, play, a time when we didn't know about the skin. We didn't know that it was cellular. We didn't know that it was an organ. We didn't know that its health was reflective of the health inside the body. Mm -hmm. So God, God bless Helena Rubenstein. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say Helena Rubenstein? Yes. She was the lady who started the skincare business back in the late 1800s. Yeah. She, her vision was to empower women, to have women put stuff on their skin to make them feel like that, that, that they were more womanly. And that was a good thing. But from my perspective and from a modern day perspective, we know the skin is much more than a vehicle for adornment, a canvas. She was looking right. at the skin like it was a canvas and you, you just paint stuff on. From my perspective as a, a healthcare professional and from a modern day scientific perspective, we know the skin is an organ. Right. And so we want to address it as such and we want to look at it like an organ. Now, what do I mean when I say an organ? An organ is made up of two components. It's made up of cells and it's made up of the stuff that this, that's coming out of the cells. Kind of like raisin bread. Right. You've got two components in raisin bread, right? You got raisins and you got bread. Mm -hmm. right? and, well, an organ, whether it's the skin or your liver or spleen or anything else, or the body in general, is made up like raisin bread. It's made up of cells and it's made up of stuff. You can think of it like raisins and bread, except it's in the body, it's magical raisins. If I gave you a handful of raisins and you, you took my raisin, you put them on your table, and then you went off and did your business and did your work and came back. And all of a sudden, those raisins had turned into raisin bread. You go, oh my God, that's <laughs> magical, right? <laughs> right. Well, guess what? That's how the body is. It's magical raisins that make the bread. But here's the issue: when you have a health problem, whether it's eczema or whether it's wrinkles or whether it's dry skin, remember these are health problems. Right. Skin conditions are health problems. Dry skin's a health problem. Wrinkles are a health problem. Uh, if you have, or whether you have an internal health problem, like an autoimmune disease or you have cancer, God forbid, or heart disease. You have a cell problem, not a bread problem, not a right. stuff problem. In terms of the skin, if you have wrinkles or you have dry skin, you don't have a bread issue. You have a cell issue. Right. We're treating the bread. We're treating the tissue. We're treating the, the stuff that's coming out of the cells. We got to get to the cells. Now, here's the good news. The cell has been around for 3.5 billion years with a B. And in that 3.5 billion years, it has evolved a menu from which it eats from. Mm -hmm. It doesn't eat propylene glycol. It doesn't eat methylparaben. It doesn't eat glycerol stearate. It doesn't eat water that you put on the surface of the skin. It doesn't eat vegetable oil. It eats amino acids. It eats fatty acids. It eats uh, 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 vitamins. It needs, eats minerals. It eats what we call nutrients. Right. Now, internally, that's always going to be the best place to take care of your organs, whether you're talking about your skin or any other organ. And that's why eating correctly is very important. And that's why nutrition is very important. Right. You've got to feed the cells and the cells eat nutrition. Well, you know, the cells are just like us. They're a microcosm of us. But we eat hamburgers. A cell eats amino acids. We eat salad. A cell eats vitamin C. Right. You know so right. we got to figure out what the cell needs and we got to give it to it. Now, internally, that means good food and that means uh, nutritional supplements. And it also means digestive health strategies like probiotics and digestive enzymes, and apple cider vinegar with your meals, uh, uh, things that stimulate stomach acid, et cetera. But right. we're talking skin here and we're talking topical skin. Well, guess what, Sherry? The skin can be a route of administration to the skin cells. And if you put the foods that the cell will eat topically, the skin cell will then become healthier. So your skin will become more beautiful. 
Right. Yeah. So just like, so let me ask you this, Ben. So if we are concentrating on just taking care of our skin, okay, and we're putting all the right products on our skin, but we're eating like crap, then we're actually being counterproductive. So Heck yes, because right. you gotta feed the cell. You gotta feed the cell. What I discovered in the wound healing pharmacy is you could feed the cell from the top in, from the outside in. Right. But not just anything. You can't just put anything on the skin surface. You have to, it has to be in the right structure to penetrate. Now, one of the things we study in pharmacy school is penetration, mm -hmm. delivery, we call it. Right. And, far, and I, got a, I got a two year, uh, a, two, a four semester experience in something called pharmaceutics, which is the study of transdermal penetration especially on topical application. You know, pharmacists have, uh, pharmacy, cre uh, you can go to the pharmacy and get uh, transdermal uh, scopolamine patches. They put them mm -hmm. in the back of, your, back of your ear. If you get seasick, you want to right. cruise. You got lidocaine patches. You got fentanyl patches. You got estrogen creams, and progesterone creams. We study how to get into the bloodstream through the skin. What I did in my pharmacy, in my wound healing pharmacy, is I took those understandings of how, of pharmaceutics, of how to deliver active ingredients through the skin into the blood and I applied them to wound healing. So wow. I developed products that would deliver the same way fentanyl is delivered or lidocaine is delivered or scopolamine is delivered, that right. would deliver cell nutrients to the skin cells, the keratinocytes, those are the skin cells, or the fibroblasts, those are the cells that make the, the collagen and the hyaluronic acid connected to you. I figured out how to take food for the cell, which is remember nutrients, right. and deliver it through the skin, through the surface of the skin to the cells. So my truth treatments are really nutritional supplements, topical nutritional supplements. You know what I'm saying? Topical skin nutritional supplements for the keratinocyte, the skin cell, and the fibroblast, the connective tissue cell. We're delivering nutrients, two specific nutrients, and then a couple subnutrients. There's two major ones and a couple minor ones. That we're delivering them through the stratum corneum to the keratinocyte and to the fibroblast. And that means that if you have any kind of health challenge and dry skin is a health challenge right. and wrinkles are a health challenge and hyperpigmentation is a health challenge. And you know what, Sherry? Everything we want in the skin care product and all the complaints we have from our skin are about health. They're not right. beauty. You, this is the most important message I want to get across. Right. Our complaints about our skin and our desires for beauty in the skin are about the health of the skin. We have to address the health. And if you're putting a skincare product in your skin that doesn't address the health of the skin, you're not going to have beautiful skin. You're going to have negative effects on the skin at times, and you're not going to be satisfied with your skincare. Right. Also, if you use skincare product the reverse, if you use skincare products that do address the health of the skin or do address the cell, that do feed the cell with what it needs, not only will you have beautiful skin, but you will have also have healthy skin, meaning your wrink, uh, in addition to the beautification signs, uh, the wrinkles and the dry skin and hyperpigmentation, you'll also be able to reverse things like eczema and psoriasis. You'll also have uh, health uh, changes in the, in the health of the tissue that will reflect as moist skin, supple skin, youthful skin. Uh, a brighter complexion, reduction in hyperpigmentation. That's, the, right. that's my main message. We want to start to respect the skin and really treat it like an organ by using only the things that the cell, the fibroblast and the keratinocyte can utilize, or in addition to things that the cell can utilize, a transdermal penetration aids that will help deliver those things that the cell can utilize. And that's what True Treatments is. Our products are 100% active and functional. That is every molecule in my true transdermal C serum, my true uh, transdermal C bomb or retinol gels, every molecule in those products is there in those products are there for your skin. They either are nutrients for the cell or they're delivery aids that support the delivery of those nutrients to the cell. Now let every me molecule, no fillers, no waxes, no water, no silicon, no no preservatives, no propylene glycol. Everything in that product, in a formula, a true treatments formulation, is there for your skin and your skin cell. And by the way, what that means is you don't slather them on. You put a couple drops on. You put a little pea size amount on. It's like medicine. I consider, you know, people always ask me if my products are medical grade. Have you heard that term, medical grade? Yes. Well, guess what, Sherry? There's no such thing as medical grade. Right. That is a marketing term. There's no, there's no grading body that looks at a product. Of, oh, that's medical grade. Well, stamp 
medical grade. Right. Like nothing like right. that. It's a marketing term. So people ask me, are your products medical grade? And I go, no, my products aren't medical grade. They're medicine. That's <laughs> what you want. Not medical grade. That's baloney. Right. That's the truth. And that's why I call my company the truth. The truth is there's no medical grade. The truth is this is medicine. And when you go to the drugstore and get your medicine, what's the one thing you want it to do, Sherry? Do you care, I, do you care what it smells like? Do you care about the packaging? Do you care if Cindy right. Crawford endorsed it? Do you care about the, about the color? You just care if that amoxicillin or that antihypertensive or that birth control pill. You care if it what? Works. works. <laughs> right. And that's how, right? And that's how I look at skincare. I don't care what the packaging is like. Right. I don't care, I don't care what it smells like or looks like. I want to know, is that going to work? To me, the same criteria that we use to assess the value of medicine should be used to assess the value of a skincare product. Does it do something on your skin? Can you put it on a cut and will accelerate the healing of that cut? And that now, let me, that. let me ask you this, Ben. So, you know, as a woman in her 50s, um, I say that I've taken care of my my skin. I mean, I, I started it at an early age and I was in the whole pageant system when I was a teenager. And so, you know, I tried to be really careful about what I put on my skin. But what do you say is, I mean, I know that the younger, the better to start with, you know, putting good things on your skin and the good, healthy eating. But is it true and can it happen if a woman in her 40s or 50s starts using the best products that are actually meant for everything that you say, can she reverse the damage yes. that's already done? Of course, yes, absolutely. Now, if there's scarring, that's not reversible. So scarring by definition is not reversible. I know there's lots of scar creams out there. I also know that there's lots of people who have scars and who want to have products for their scars. A scar is by definition, literally, the word scar means it's permanent. That's what the word okay. means, okay? So if you have a scar, that's not gonna change. If you have a cut, however, and you do not want it to scar, load up with topical vitamin C, also topical vitamin A, and make sure you, uh, topically, and make sure you're doing internal nutrients. So at a young age, you wanna pound the nutri internal nutrition. At a young age, you wanna make sure you're absorbing, because malabsorption, it's not what you take, it's what you absorb. Right. And malabsorption is a serious problem. Fat malabsorption issues, intestinal absorption issues. There's various absorption problems and digestive problems that people have. In fact, 80, million, 80 to 100 million Americans have some kind of digestive problems. One out of three or four of us have some kind of digestive health issue. So right. it's extremely important that you work on the digestive system. And by the way, Sherry, I'm a pharmacist and you know I have a radio program where I talk about health. I'm a healthcare professional. Right. And I'm telling you, this is not just true about the skin. It's true about every single health challenge you have. So understand how to leverage the power of the digestive system. Very, very important. Eliminate problem foods. Make sure you're eating only foods that are nutritionally dense. And that's for the skin too. Do it at a young age. Topically, however, make sure you're pounding, putting copious and generous amounts on a regular basis of high concentration, fat-soluble, key right there, fat-soluble vitamin C. Not the water-soluble kind. The water-soluble kind doesn't penetrate through the stratum corneum. It's cheap. It's unstable. It breaks down. It's the kind that's in most products. Uh -huh. Make sure you're putting a high concentration of fat-soluble vitamin C on your skin on a regular basis. And make sure you're using retinol uh, on a regular basis. And make sure you're using electrical minerals. I call them polyelectrolytes. That is the minerals that are in the soil. You know, the soil gives rise to the plants. The soil is the most powerful thing on the planet. It gives rise to the plants. The plants, the animals eat the plants, we eat the animals, all of life comes from the soil. And the right. soil is going to be uh, more powerful to the, or more or less powerful to the degree it has electrical minerals in it. Well, guess what? The skin or cells, I should say, whether it's skin cells or internal cells are the same way. They are going to be more or less effective and healthy to the degree they have access to electrical minerals. So electrical minerals, uh, I, they're called polyelectrolytes vitamin C in its fat soluble form and vitamin A. Those are the three most important topical ingredients for your skin. You want to use them topically at a young age on a regular basis in generous and abundant fashion. Now there's some wow. secondary nutrients that you can use as well. Vitamin B3, which is niacin or niacinamide. That can be helpful, although it's secondary. It's not like vitamin C or vitamin A or the polyelectrolytes. 
Vitamin E can be, can, uh, can be helpful for the surface of the, or for skin cells when it's applied on the surface. Vitamin K can be helpful. Mostly your fat-soluble vitamins and, and a little bit of your, your water-soluble vitamins, your B-complex uh, in addition can be helpful. But primarily you're looking at vitamin C, vitamin A, and the electrolytes. Those are the three biggest, the most important nutritional elements for the skin. But here's something else, Sherry. We know uh, that nutrition is important, but if you want to have big muscles or you want to have a healthy heart or you want to have good, uh, cir a good circulation, in addition to nutrition, what else do you have to do to make your biceps grow and to make your heart strong and make your right. circulatory and lymphatic system work correctly? What work else out, do? exercise. Bingo. Yeah. Guess what? That same mechanism that grows your muscles when you lift weights will grow your skin when you apply certain products on the skin. That's the key, amazing. Isn't that great? Check this out. The key to muscle growth, we'll use muscle growth because everyone knows, understands muscle growth, but this is also true about the, the, the growth of the heart and the growth of the circular or the development of the heart and circulatory system, but we'll use the muscles as an example because everybody understands the muscles. What is it that makes the muscles grow? It's a word. It's a word that we have all grown up to hate. It's a word that we're all told we need less of in our lives. It's a word that we're told we have too much of in our lives. What's that word? I know you know it. What, what are we, you always hear, Sherry, you're doing this too much. Stop doing this so much. You gotta like, you know, lighten up a little bit. You're doing too much of this. It starts with an S. I don't know, what is it? I know you know, I just haven't thought of it that way. Stress. Oh, stress. Yeah, because right. we live in it every day. Exactly. So we have this idea stress is a bad thing, right? Because we hear it all the time. Right. I'm here to tell you stress is your best friend because stress triggers growth. True. Without stress, you don't grow. Stress, right. What, uh, Nietzsche, Friedrich Nietzsche said, what doesn't kill you, what? Makes you stronger. You better believe right. it, baby. Stress is how we grow. You see, there's two kinds of stress. There is the kind of stress that we always hear about called distress, right? Right. That's the kind of stress that's a negative stress. But there's a whole nother stress called you stress. And by you, I mean EU. Have you heard that, that, that prefix EU? It means good. Right. It's good stress. That's the kind of stress that grows muscle. Right. You lift weights. Now, when you lift weights, if you want to be really strong, I, you, you look like you probably have lifted a lift some weights, right? Yeah. So when, you do cur when you do curls, if you want to have your biceps really strong, you lift weights until you feel the... Feel Pain. The, no, what's the word? Starts with a B. Feel the burn. Oh, yeah. Have well, see, burning that? is pain to me. <laughs> okay. okay no, it's, it's a type of pain. So what is that pain or what is that burn? It's acid. Right. Acid. We always hear, and you probably have heard this in the, in the nursing business, how acid in the blood and and that acid foods is a bad thing. Well, guess what? Acid right. is not a bad thing. It's too much acid that's a bad thing. Right. Like acid that is acid is an oxidant. Acid tells the cell, "Hey, you better get growing. Uh, we better get growing to be able to handle all the stress." Acid stimulates stress, or acid signals stress. Right. It stimulates if we're healthy. It stimulates growth. That's why when you lift weights, you get bigger muscles. Well, right. guess what? That same acid on the skin under healthy conditions will stimulate collagen. It will stimulate high hyaluronic acid. It will stimulate moisture factors. So putting acid on the surface of the skin in the right context, I'll tell you what that is here in a moment, right. not just acid, in the right context and just the right amount stimulates growth. It's like taking your skin to the gym. And by the right context, I mean with vitamin C, mm -hmm. with vitamin A, retinol, and with electrolytes or polyelectrolytes. The combination of low levels of acid on the skin with vitamin C and vitamin A and electrolytes maximizes skin cell growth, fibroblastic activity, moisture factor secretion, the same way that lifting weights and coming home and doing your B-complex and your protein and your creatine and your aminos will result in bigger muscles. And this, wow. is, a, this is what I learned. By, I was a bodybuilder and I was a weightlifter myself and I was really hip to the world of nutrition and I understood from being a bodybuilder that the combination of lifting weights and coming home and be, doing my nutrients would build muscle. And this was the epiphany I had in the wound healing pharmacy is that I could take that same mechanisms that lifted with weights and came at home and did my supplements. I could take that same strategy and leverage that mechanism in skincare.
And that's what my skincare products do. They allow you to take your skin to the gym and come home and do your nutrients to take that same process that we know, we've known for thousands of years, work with your muscles since the ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks were working out and they were doing nutrition to, to right. build muscle. Since those days, we, we've known that and everybody knows and understands the mechanism. I've simply applied that mechanism and through creative formulations by taking out the bad stuff and leaving the good stuff, develop skincare products that allow you to do the same thing that we know works for muscles when you go to the gym uh, to work for the skin. And the net effect is wound healing, more tissue, more uh, of the substructures, the hyaluronic acid in the connective tissue, et cetera, for beautiful, healthy, uh, glowing, and most important, youthful skin. Right. So how that. long, how long, Ben, does, does it take? Because I know you have to keep it up, just like how with diet and exercise. Take, how long does it take for you to go to the gym and get results? Um, One day. One day you're going to notice. If you go today yeah. and lift the weights before, you go and start lifting weights, that day you're going to be like, look in the mirror, you'll be like, whoa, I'm looking pretty good. Now, you have to do it regularly, but one day you're going to feel it. Right. Same with the skin. When you, same with the skin. When you use my true treatments, within one day, you're going to notice the difference. Now, if you're already healthy, like you're, 20, you're in your 20s or something, or somebody as beautiful as you is already healthy and glowing, you. you're, you're not going to see the results as quickly. You'll still see them, but it won't right. be as dramatic and profound. But if your skin is really, and most people have, parched skin, dry skin, wrinkled skin, problem skin, you'll notice results within one dose. Certainly wow. within two or three days. Within two or three days, people start commenting, commenting on what are you doing to your skin? To the degree that it's, that it's, that it's messed up, to the degree that it's problematic. The right. more problematic it is, the quicker you're going to notice results. And that's generally true about nutrition and health. The, more, the healthier you are, the slower you notice results or the longer you notice dramatic results. However, right. the beautiful thing about the body, I always tell this to people who are either severely overweight or obese or really sick, have terrible autoimmunity or whatever it is, I always tell people that's the greatest gift of the human body is the sicker we are, the faster we turn it around. The more weight we need to lose, the faster it drops off. It's like right. a dry sponge sucks up more water than a wet sponge. Right. You me? It's a, yes. If your body's like a dry sponge, it will respond to nutrition and health strategies much more quickly than if it's already a wet sponge. Not that you don't need it both under both conditions. Even if you have a wet sponge, you still need to have nutrition and, and be doing healthy strategies. But if you right. have a dry sponge, you notice results dramatically within one dose and, and dr really profound and dramatic results within several doses. Uh, yeah, several and I doses. think I think too, like we we want all of this, but there are not everyone wants to take the initiative, or they're worried that a product is not going to work, and they don't want to outlay the the funds to take care of it. But then again, the way I look at it is, you know, if you do nothing at all, you're just a you're just going in a downward spiral. So Absolutely. if you already have health issues, or you already have skin issues, or you're already overweight, or you're not, you know, you're not feeling tone or strength, if you're not doing anything about it and taking action, because you know, just like I tell all of my followers and all of my listeners, you know, you can have all these goals and ambitions all you want, but if you don't take action, they're just empty dreams. This is the thing. I want you to come back on the show. I want you to come back on the show in six months after I'm using the truth treatment. Oh, wait, oh. You're going to send me a note, Look, Terry. I'm, gonna I'm gonna a walking show. advertisement, man. I'm my, telling you. Here's my, here's my, uh, my challenge, my, my, uh, a reverse challenge to you. I'm going to send you some stuff. We, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, within a week of using my stuff, you're going to send me an email. Okay, you're going to send. I'm you so it, excited. And your skin's beautiful. I'm looking at you. Your skin is gorgeous. Thank I told you. you. You, I mean, you are a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. And, Thank and you. I can't believe you're 53. So somebody <laughs> like you, somebody like you is going to. It's going to be a little bit longer for you to notice results. Nonetheless, even as beautiful as you are and as wonderful as your skin is. You are going to notice such dramatic results in a week that you're going to send me an email. I'm going to want to bathe in it, Ben. I'm going to yeah. put it in my bathtub. <laughs> well, you, don't, you don't need, that's the thing. You don't need to bathe in it. You don't need to bathe in it. You just need a few drops. Or right. A size amount. Because it's medicine. Every molecule right. counts in my formulation. So a couple of drops in my Truth Transdermal C Serum, which is almost 80% vitamin C, is like slathering another product on. So uh, exciting. So here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to send you out a little system, okay? But Yay. I'd like you to call me before you use it so I can give you a couple of little tip, tips so you can get the best use of it. And okay. then 
uh, use it as directed, and I am I'm promising you and guaranteeing you that you're going to send me an email within a week, and you're going to go, you know what, Ben? I've heard it all before. I was skeptical. I know I'm in my, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, everybody says this. Who is this guy? You're going to send me an email like that, and then you're going to say, I am so amazed. I know you are. I can tell by looking at you. I'm like, so excited. Good deal. Right, so I want you to tell, because I want, I'm challenging all of my listeners. Like I want my listeners to get on the bandwagon with me because we are going to reverse any aging. And if you're young, because I do have young girls that listen to my show, start now, ladies, start now, because I'm telling you it's harder to reverse in the long run. So Ben, tell everybody where we can find you, uh, with, okay. with, we can follow you and tell us where we can get the truth. To okay. You. So I'm all over the internet. If you just Google pharmacist Ben. That's my nickname, Pharmacist Ben. If you just Google Pharmacist Ben, you get a million YouTubes and my blogs and articles I've written, et cetera. Uh, my radio program is called The Bright Side. I was sick of all the negative stuff. I wanted people to understand how beautiful the human body is. I love the human body. I love the skin. I love biochemistry. I love God. And I love yes. God as he shows up through the body. So yes. The body is the is the holy the holy spirit made manifest is the human body right so i'm a lover and i'm a I'm, this is all my spiritual mission by the way so and we only have one shot we only have one shot at one it one shot this is it. it this is it so uh if you google pharmacy span you'll get all kinds of stuff my program is called the bright side you can google that and my website is truth treatments that's plural truthtreatments.com we're running a special i'm not sure how long the special will, i don't know when the show will air but the special should be up for a couple more weeks uh, where you can, for $39, you can get a true serum, which will last you about three to four weeks if it's used correctly. Um, excuse, excuse me. Uh, I think we just cut out there. Uh, it's used three to four weeks if it's used correctly and a free biomimetic mineral mist. 39, the whole thing will cost you 39 bucks. For 30, uh, our biomimetic mineral mist is the electrolytes I was talking about, the poly electrolytes. You can use it on your hair when you get out of the shower too, by the way. Wow. On your hair. Um, uh, for two, for thirty nine dollars, it's a great way, uh, introductory package. It's a great way to see how powerful these concepts are for yourself to try it out. It's ordinarily seventy eight dollars, so you get the, basically you get the mist for free. Uh, thirty nine dollars plus shipping. Go to truthtreatmentsplural dot com. Truthtreatments dot com, and uh, you can always send me emails. Ben at Truth Treatments. I'm happy to answer. Ben at Truthtreatments dot com, and listen to my radio program. It's a call in show, so if you have questions, you can call in. That is so cool. Ben, I am so excited. I am so excited to meet you. I cannot wait to start on the treatment system. And I'm going to be like a walking advertisement. I'm telling you because everybody knows I am a beauty junkie. And if it works, uh -huh. I will scream it from the rooftops. I mean, that's just what I do. I'm guaranteeing you. So you got to send me an email or a phone number or text me. I will. Email address. And then you're going to call me when you get your package. You get in a couple days. Call I me. will. I will definitely call you. And thank you so much. And guys, listen, if you enjoyed this episode and have a spare minute, please leave me a review on iTunes. So Real Girl Talk podcast radio show ranks higher and becomes more discoverable for all of our listeners. You know my goal is to reach thousands of people, inspire them, educate them any way possible. And if you have any friends that you think would benefit from listening to this episode, or any other Real Girl Talk podcast episode, please share with them. Just hit a button, share, spread the love. Together we can make this world podcast inspired. And until next week, have a blessed week.